This is a real quick video on my simple setup for a tank. I would recommend a simple light. So I have a simple screw on LED light. This is a two and a half gallon tank. Um, particularly this advice would work with any small to medium sized tank. That goes for nano tanks as well as up to 5, 10, 15, 20 gallon tanks. For a needle carry dinner shrimp, um, if you want a basic, basic setup, make sure you have structure. Here I have several pieces of driftwood. I have a simple sponge filter. I have quite a bit of java moss. I also have java fern. I have anubias. I've got a rotella, and I have various rocks. I've also added a shrimp rock, which helps with their molting. For substrate, I have basic uh, fine sand. What you see on top of the sand is uh, detritus from the shrimps themselves, or shrimp poo, mostly. And then I keep a large... Indian almond leaf, and that is their main food. I think I've said it in previous videos, I do not feed this tank, particularly. I don't have to. And if I do put food in there, they don't usually go for it. Um, they, they don't need it. So this is the tank, my private tank. I do not pull from this tank, usually, unless I'm taking individuals out that don't meet my requirements. <laughs> But um, this is my advice for a simple low maintenance to no maintenance tank that works great on a table shelf. Have structure, have some plants, have a sponge filter, watch your shrimp from time to time to make sure there's no issues, and you're set. A tank like this will hold anywhere from 20 to 30 individuals easy, so long as you have biofilm. So. That's my advice.